Hey guys, today I'm filming from some place that I have never filmed and if you can't tell I'm sitting in like the corner between two walls and my extra ass decided back in high school that I wanted my room bright as pink. It's so bright and vibrant but since of the nature of this video, which if you can't tell from the title and the thumbnail that you clicked on, this is part two of me just making fun of the weird shit that I have found in my room throughout cleaning it and or packing up all of my things to move to another house. I have lived at this house literally since second grade. That was a long ass time ago. So I am finding things from so long ago that I literally have not seen in years and it is so funny to me to just kind of like relive my weird childhood and yeah. Okay the first thing that I just like really quickly need to talk about is anyone out there old enough to remember the original PlayStation? Anyone, anyone, we have this old PlayStation and it's just crazy to see how far video games have come. Basically, if you wanted to save your slot on any game, you would have to just use a PlayStation thing. Like there wasn't a hard drive on the PlayStation itself. You couldn't save your game if you didn't have one of these to save your game onto. So what a throwback. <laughs> Next, I find this to be absolutely hilarious because it is just the total embodiment of me on a daily basis. I think it's so funny because this is just fucking me like literally me, but like also me to this day <laughs> So apparently I made a mix that was like my thing was anyone else obsessed with doing that like getting blank CDs from like Best Buy or something and then just like making CDs with like whatever songs you wanted I was like a pro at that I even bought a software and like special paper so that I could make my own labels and print them and it, they were so low tech and like just so lame like they weren't cool at all and I don't even know where they are They're probably all in a landfill somewhere But I made this mix and I said get to Raven which seems pretty urgent Like I seemed to really want Raven to get this ASAP yet here I am at age 22 Laughing at the fact that I never got this to Raven because I probably just forgot which is me I forget everything like if you know me in real life, you know that I will be in the middle of a sentence and I will forget what I was talking about. Of course, I wasn't gonna get it to Raven. You know, like, I, I never remember anything. <laughs> I was so obsessed with this shit. I don't know if I remember how to do it. I feel like I'm... <gasps> wait, is this like Cat's Cradle or some shit? Wait, wait, wait. I promise I didn't look it up. This is like... Don't you like... <gasps> oh my god, I kind no. <laughs> I thought I got it for a second. I was like, yay, like look at me, like all these years later. No, I still fucked it up. Is that it? Eiffel Tower? Fuck. Eiffel Tower? I remember I could do so many like tricks with this shit, but I know like Cat's Cradle is one, but like I couldn't tell you how to do it. I forgot. <laughs> I feel like you have to be my age or older to know about these or maybe a little younger. I don't know. These were the shit when I was in elementary school. For real friends. If you don't know what a for real friend is, they had them for like dogs and cats and then I think they branched out and did like other types of pets. But this, my friends, is a robotic cat. Like I literally am feeling all of the mechanisms of like how the cat works. Like it's not soft at all. It's not something you want to cuddle but it is like a cat that like moves and if it still works i'm honestly gonna scream hello <laughs> anybody there these are so creepy now looking back but like at the time you literally felt like it was a pet like a real pet can't even move the hair out of his eyes to see his eyes like it's that stiff look at that i just had to fucking show this pillow i'm pretty sure this is from limited 2 it's basically justice but like back in the day it was called limited 2 and it was the shit when i was in elementary school and it was like the coolest store at the mall to go to and i'm pretty sure this flip-flop pillow is from there and there's this little diary thing with a very extra pen and I don't know if you can see, but there are feathers flying all around. August 3rd, 2004. So I had just turned nine years old. This is my little journal. I write in. And that's literally all I ever wrote in it. It was on that first day. Nothing else. 
Oh my god, me. This one I find to be absolutely hilarious because just by looking at it, I know what it is. I haven't even opened this up because I remember what this is. A friend and I, her name is Kayla, decided that we were going to kind of like start our own language. And we decided we were going to have a private dictionary of which we wrote down all of our secret words for our secret language. Oh my god, this is hilarious. I think what I'm gonna do is like after I finish this video is to make another video of just reading from our private language because this is fucking funny. This thing I remember my mom or dad got from like Hallmark for me and it's another like creepy talking toy and I wrote my name with a big heart on the eye because peace, love, Elena. But I guess his batteries are probably old as fuck and not working and I don't have a screwdriver. So I was a flower girl in two different weddings and something that I fucking find to be not like hilarious in like a haha -ha sense because these were both you know marriages of people that were related to me and people who still are related to me obviously I don't mean this is funny as in funny that like this is how things ended up but I think it's kind of funny because it just so happens that both of the marriages of which I was the flower girl at their wedding they both ended up in divorce so I guess I'm just great luck at a wedding <laughs> and this was the pouch that I used at one of them I don't remember which one because they happened a really long time ago but um this was what I would use to like walk down the aisle and throw the flower petals down the aisle as a bitch does doing her thing <laughs> and I also remember I went through a phase where I was fucking obsessed with like lip smacker like chapstick things and all of the flavors that they came in and I just went fucking insane and was so obsessed with them that literally I had enough to fill this bag and I genuinely can clearly remember a time that this friend Kayla and I were going to Target instead of bringing like a little purse you know with like things that a bitch might want like on her shopping trip with her a bitch brought this just filled with my collection of chapsticks and walked around Target with this just full I'm talking like as wide as it goes and like all the way up to here like full of chapsticks and I remember being from frustrated that like they would fall out because I couldn't like fasten the bag. So like there's a fun little anecdote about my childhood and how weird I am. <laughs> Alright, that is it for this video. If you have watched this far, thank you for reliving really embarrassing childhood memories with me. I mean like this has just kind of been sitting here and it makes me more and more uncomfortable at each given second. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We love you and we will see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye!